I remember the day the newcomer arrived in the barnyard. That mad cow Otis was up on the roof with his friends. Do you have a will, Peck? I mean, did you ever think of donating your body to, uh, science? Uh, just be gentle with me, Otis. It's my first time. Ooh, ooh, farmer! Whoa! Pull me up! Pull me up! Dude, you're a cow. I'm a mouse. Do the map. Pig, we got a code red. Uh-oh. And that was when the newcomer showed up. Now let me show you a real... Of course, you must be starving. Wait right there. Hey, Peck, you better pass on your ah! seatbelt. There you go. I'll be back later. Otis, father to son talk. Now. Can you keep it quiet back there, woman? I'm watching the TV. The raccoons were out of line that year. Lying, thieving, sneaky little bandits. They'd steal the vegetables from the farmer's garden, steal the eggs from under the hand. Heck, they'd even steal your mother if they got a chance. But Ben was keeping an eye on them. The raccoons were bad enough, but there was worse coming. Coyote season. Coyotes are mad, bad, dangerous animals. Ben told everyone to be careful. Otis barely heard any of it. He was too busy checking out another new arrival. A sweet young cow by the name of Daisy. Hardly anyone took coyote season seriously. That was a mistake. One night there was a huge party for Everett the dog. Didn't take long for things to get out of hand. like a strong man, defending others, but it took every last bit of his strength. 
that night, we lost Ben. He was our leader and our friend. saw the whole thing. Miles had to kick him to make him forget. After that, Otis did his best. Otis was sick of human kids tipping over sleeping cows. He figured that if he was leader, he was going to do things his way and teach those kids a lesson. All he needed was a car. inside and introduced the snotty kid to boy tipping. <laughs> Nearly woke the whole neighborhood. They had to get out of their fast. One day Otis left all of a sudden, said he didn't want others to do what he said anymore. That left the newcomer in charge of a difficult situation. The coyotes kidnapped Hannah. Enough was enough. Otis came back and took a stand. But he did not stand alone. That was the last we saw of those coyotes. Otis truly was the leader now. And a dad as well. That night, Daisy gave birth to little Ben. Otis kept all the animals safe after that, but he never forgot who helped him the most. What do you say we party?
There's something funny about that farm. I know there is. You can't fool me. No, sirree. <laughs> <laughs>